As I understand it, the Marcion family is in crisis. Mum Dawn is overburdened with her three kids. You better run! What's wrong with you? What about you? No. And her husband Michael is of no help whatsoever. Let's go. It certainly sounds like a most difficult week lies ahead. Good morning. Hi, how are you, Chris? I'm Nanny Yvonne from Nanny 911. Oh my God, you're finally oh. here! Come on, I'm here to save the day. <laughs> Come on in. Guys, I have a big surprise for you. This is our new nanny. Hello, everybody. The kids actually seemed wowed by her, you know, like she came out of like a fairy tale. What I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to watch all of you and I want you to do whatever you normally do and that includes mum and dad. So I want you to pretend I'm not here. Can you do that? <laughs> Both of these parents work, and today it's Mum's turn. And the first thing I see is her rush out the door, Mommy. leaving Dad to take care of the children. Oh, my it's hard taking care of three kids, I know, because she leaves me home quite often. It's tough. Oh, this should be very interesting. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have fun with you. I'm a mom. Come on, guys. Straight away, Dad takes the girls for some fun leaving Mikey all by himself. But I'm beginning to wonder, who is really having the fun? The kids or Dad? <laughs> Meanwhile, Mikey busies himself with the television. That is, until Dad comes in. What are you doing, Mike? And wants to watch the game. Hey. Mikey's a good kid but he has an issue of sharing. You know, oh, I want to watch a show, I want to watch a show. He won't, he won't share his TV. A grown man bullying his five-year-old. Who's the boss around here? You. That's right. And to make matters worse, when Mikey resists... I want to watch TV! No, go in the corner. Um, now. Now! Up! One! Two! Dad throws him in the corner. Let's go! Chop, chop. Oh, Two minutes. I didn't do anything oh. bad. Mikey being given a timeout, not really realizing why he's there at all. I thought it was completely inappropriate. Sit here, and you'll be a man and take your punishment. <laughs> and next time you'll learn. I couldn't believe my eyes. Michael tells his son to be a man just so he can take control of the remote. Looks like dad's the one that needs to grow up. <laughs> As the day wears on, I start to realize that the Marcions don't have three kids in this house. They have four kids in this house. All morning long, I've watched Dad have fun and play with the kids. Oh, you get the piggy tails. Side, 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 side. For Dad, when it's all fun and games, it's all well and good. Okay, Daddy tired. But as soon as he actually has to do something, everything turns into a big problem for Michael. Sit at the table. I want everyone to sit down. Yeah, You're coming up. Sit down. You kind of walk. Dad has clearly lost his patience, but instead of dealing with it, Mandy, just eat, please. He decides to block the children out, literally. I needed cotton balls in my ears because everybody is just too loud. And it's not like I can't hear them with them in there. It just tones it down a little bit. Because otherwise, I'll, I'll go crazy. I'll lose my mind. And why do you have that in your ears? I just want you guys to eat your food. Can you do that? Can yeah. you just eat? You look like a monkey. <laughs> Dad's childish behavior has got to stop. And what's even more distressing is that when Mum comes home, Dad plops down on the couch like he's the one who's had a hard day at work, leaving the house a mess and the kids in a tizzy. The minute I got home from work, they're jumping around like monkeys and toys are everywhere. My house is a wreck and I gotta hurry up and make dinner. Of course I'm 
gonna explode and be mad. I'm exhausted. Guys, I don't want to hear about it anymore. Guess what? I'm done. Done. Get off that chair. Get off it now. And when Michael finally does get involved, he only adds fuel to the fire. Those toys right there, can you please put them in Mikey's room? I tripped over them and I almost broke my foot. And acts like a child himself. I hurt my foot on one more toy around this house. I'm frustrated with this house the way it is all the time. And it just gets me mad. I work just as hard as him, probably harder. By the end of the day, I have no patience left and the littlest things are gonna make me snap. Bedtime is a disaster in this family. All right, I'll let you watch five minutes of TV, but you got to get in bed. Mikey gets sent off to bed to watch television, while the twins are then given a snack in bed by Dad. You want a pretzel? And you want a rice cake? Unbelievable. Snack. Good night. There came a point where I'd seen and had enough. And it was time to talk to Dawn and Michael, and they weren't going to like it.